Hello everybody, my name is Chicken. This is a video of my Thomas Wooden Railway layout. Uh, a special theme for this one, it uses every single clickety-clack destination and variant of uh, to make it. Uh, this layout was heavily inspired by Domus Engines uh, classic TWR layout. So I decided to do my take and include all of the variations, all major variations, I should say. Because um, unfortunately I couldn't include every version of the round turntable or the action turntable. But other than that, uh, this is everything. So, just stand up a little bit, give you a little overview. So this layout has been complete for about two weeks. Um, but the video has taken so long to get out just because I've been missing like some very important uh, pieces that I needed to complete it which I will get into as we progress through the layout. Uh, but the first one being this uh, 1994 Restored Percy. Uh, I had to make sure that I wanted to use the original Percy that I have. Um, so I had to make sure that he was up to code. But yeah. So anyway, let, let's, let's just start the tour. So here is Ells Bridge. And here we have Thomas with Anne and Claire, Bell, Percy in the mail, and Toby with Henrietta. Uh, we, I have two Ellsbridge stations, Ellsbridge platform, and a stop and go signal. Uh, and this is not a clickety clack piece. You'll notice that not all track is clickety clack around, but uh, that's not the main focus. The main focus is just the destinations. So, the tracks come out here uh, to a T-switch, and there's these 199 pulling the circus train uh, going under the lift bridge. And this is one of the replacement pieces that I had to make for the layout. I wanted to make sure that, you know, I, I, everything could be as complete as it possibly could without any pieces missing. So, yeah. But anyway, so this line um, goes past the original um, lifting bridge in the original Arlesdale barrel loader goes through one of two Henry's tunnels goes around to the updated lift bridge comes around to a T uh, just a regular switch and this line goes underneath two set of eight bridges back to where Toby is and then that line goes through one of four sing uh, single stone tunnels under the bridge and to Tim Sheds so here at Timmy Sheds, we have the coaling plant, um, a siding, another tunnel, and there's Donald and Douglas, uh, just about to go to sleep. Uh, we have the conductor shed right outside, and then this line um, comes around the bend, under the pedestrian bridge, and back to Ells Bridge. So let's head back to Timmy real quick. So let's go this way. So there's the Glen Knox switch tower. And then that line uh, goes around to Duck and Oliver are. Oliver is pulling Scruffy, Fred, Rickety, and Toad. And there is Lori One at the airfield. So there's at the airfield there's uh, Tiger Moth and Harold. But let's go back just one second. Back to the switch tower. So if you follow along this line, it's very bendy. But this line leads behind the sheds to the magic buffers where Lady is pulling the gold dust car. Or sorry, uh, limited collector's edition. Okay, so then the line continues. So let's just do, let's add into the layout. So it goes under the, goes over across, then under the green Soda Bay Bridge. It goes over the drawbridge, through the bumpy forest piece of track, 
and then comes around the bend to the um, highway, no, not the highway crossing. I don't know, the switch yard track or whatever it's called. There's Diesel 10, Splatter, and Dodge uh, with two uh, gantry signals or, you know, over the track signals. Um, and there is Shine Time Station. So if you go Diesel 10's way, um, you can go over the mountain tunnel where Neil is, and then back around the bend to where Duck and Oliver are. But if you go this way, this line goes to where Daisy is, pulling the milk and the grain car at the Sodar Dairy Farm. There's Terrence and some cows. Uh, it goes past Trevor and past this little um, kind of field, I guess. There's a windmill and a water mill and just a small little forest. There's um, the grain loader and then through another um, single stone tunnel. And this goes on the bottom level of kind of this three layer uh, viaduct, but I kind of call this area like the dam. Like there would be like water up there and it would flow down into like a little lake or something, I don't know. Because I, I consider someplace else to be the viaduct. So that line continues around, and it loops around, goes over this crossing, goes through the bottom level of the mountain tunnel, and then it goes under the, the, the bridge there, up to where diesel 261 is, pulling the tar and fuel tankers. Goes over the Soda Bay Bridge, and this track just leads back down to this switch where Thomas and Percy are. Goes around the lift bridge, or over the lift bridge. There is uh, Sir Handel and Duke pulling Ada, Jan, and Mabel. And I just threw in a little reference to um, to Bulldog, where Sir Handel comes off the rails and Duke uh, pulls him to safety. And so then this line goes on top of Henry's tunnel, where we have the original battery-powered Thomas, James, and Percy. Goes across the. Uh, old, Byron, old Iron Bay Bridge, through the Timoth Covered Bridge, and then back down to Timoth Sheds. Okay, so let's go. Let's just continue back here where Thomas and Percy were. So this line comes through to where the fire station is. Uh, there's Mike pulling the fire crane, or fire train, I don't know. Uh, and there is a switch where Frank is pulling the aquarium cars. Uh, that line goes through another tunnel and back to where Thomas is. And then this line comes around into like a little Brendan Docks area. So there's Cranky, and then there is uh, Henry pulling the flying kipper. And there's Diesel in the siding with some cargo cars. And so, and then, you know, this line splits off twice and goes into the transfer uh, yard, uh, transfer table, sorry, uh, where Bill and Ben are transferring. And then this line goes into Matford Station. And there's uh, Birdie and Stop Matt's car. And that goes up. And we'll get back to there. So, back on these lines real quick. Uh, here's the Sodar cargo crane, the original version. And some of the pieces that I had to wait on to be remade were, in fact, these knobs uh, on the side. So, yeah, I think they look great. Those are great uh, replacement pieces. So, tail end of Henry's uh, train comes to this T-switch. If you go this way, across the octagon switch crossing thing, uh, where Gordon is pulling three express coaches, goes past another signal box and goes through that bottom level of the tunnel, past the water tower, under um, Falcon and Duke, 
back to Mike and Frank. So then this line, keep following this, this goes through the updated version of the Sodar cargo crane. And there's Mavis with the Sodar China clay cars. And this goes up uh, these like sloped pieces of track. Uh, it's like ascending, it's like you can have different layers of it. And then it goes across the old suspension bridge to where Belko is pulling a goods train. Uh, and we'll come back to him. Okay, so then let's just do um, this line at Natford because it's all one big loop. Okay. So the line that, that Battery Power Thomas is on goes across the other lane of the old iron, old iron Bay Bridge. There's one of my newest items, which is the old style Bertram. Uh, I've had a 2003 one up until this point. Goes through the mountain tunnel, over the uh, green Sweater Bay Bridge, where Rusty's pulling the rock crusher cars, or cement cars, not, rock, rock, not the rock crusher ones. Goes through the second layer of the dam. Uh, goes across and curves, and there is Wilbert at the sawmill and dumping depot about to um, cut that log in half. And then it comes around here, back to where Boko is, but there's a switch that goes through the Natford uh, covered bridge. There's James with the Yumpsters cars. It goes up onto the viaduct uh, where Coldy is pulling, or pushing Catherine. Pushing or pulling, I don't know. Uh, so, I, I kind of have two viaducts, but again, I consider that one like the dam, this one the actual viaduct. <clears throat> so, and then it comes back down over the lift bridge, back to where James is, and then down into Natford where Gordon is. So then, Gordon's line goes through a switch. And these just go into some long sidings where the Chinese dragon is in the hand car at the works shed. Goes through the cargo crane. And then there is Edward at Wellsworth Station pulling three Natford Express coaches. And then that line goes to a T-switch, goes over an Archstone Bridge, goes over Muffle Mountain, where Stepney is pulling two uh, 10 years in America coaches, goes over another Archstone Bridge, and then goes up onto the dam where we have the uh, Thomas Five Car Value Pack. Um, so we have a tired expression Thomas pulling the, the cars, and then it just comes down back to where Duck and Oliver are. Okay. Come back to this eight-way switch again. So on this line of the transfer table, it goes across, and it comes into the work area, like the yards. Uh, so we have Busy B. James on the turntable, and then, you know, just a ramp. Um, there is the Soder engine wash. This metal line goes to where the Flying Scotsman is. And that line connects uh, to the back line. Um, and then there's a uh, switch that just goes to um, that repair shop where Derek is being mended. And then on the turntable as well, we have um, the other two lines just lead into uh, a massive row of sheds there, like in the railway series. So we have the Soda Railway Repair. Sodor Railway Repair, and then all the narrow gauge engines, except for Sir Handel and Rusty, because they're out doing stuff. Speaking of, there's Rusty with the breakdown train, uh, cleaning up a little accident left here. Uh, and this line just connects back to the eight-way uh, switch. So there's the barrel loader and the water refilling uh, tank. And then this line switches off and it goes under the bridge 
uh, to the Sodar Wood Company, goes to a V switch, and into the bottom two levels of the sawmill and dumping depot. Uh, and I'm trying to use my engines in different locations or uh, pulling different trains which is something I might do on my next layout, if I ever do one. Um, but I decided to put Sad Face Henry here, helping with the logs, because he's sad that his forest is being cut down. Uh, all the other times I've just put him in the tunnel. But yeah, so there's uh, the Sodor sort of Lumber Company, which is the updated version of this building here. So there's just some extra log cars there. There's the Crosby Station cargo truck. Get a nice view here of the... Uh, I, I call this area um, Back Country, which is kind of a, a reference to um, Kikri 24's old layouts where he would have just some arched down bridges kind of along like the, the outskirts of his layouts. I don't know, just a little thing I wanted to do. Okay, so then from the line that Rusty was on, take the other switch, this just goes back to the four-way switch where uh, the diesels were. So, I think that's actually about it. I think that's the whole layout. So let me just step out real quick. And I think that is every single line and character and destination mentioned. So, I don't know. This that was really fun to put together. I got to use some destinations that I don't really use that often. But also ones that I use all the time. But yeah. It was really fun to, to use these pieces for the first time. That was fun to, to figure out over there. But yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this layout. Um, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.